see that happen again. So this is a precautionary move. Um, a number of um, business owners um, in our downtown and elsewhere have asked for a curfew. Um, after careful consideration, it's a difficult decision, but we felt that this was the um, smartest um, way to go. Now, last time, you know, the first few days of the George Floyd protests started out peaceful, obviously, as we know, ended up with looting, rioting, businesses being damaged. Um, rally police did use tear gas and rubber bullets. Can you give us any sort of idea of how police are preparing for this if it does take a turn? Well, first off, we're treating this as a peaceful protest, and I think what you've seen over the past um, couple of months is we have had many peaceful protests. Um, the police officers have been in their blues. Um, they have had conversations with the protesters. They have um, focused on de-escalation, and um, you know that's how they've been operating. Unless we see otherwise, I believe that's how we will conduct um, ourselves on Friday night. There were, um, there were some harsh criticisms on the city, yourself, as well as the police chief on the handling last time. Right. That they didn't go in for the job and that the security was totally breached. No world. Nothing, nothing happened to the How have you approached 